Tom, Your Excellencies, President Heads of State and Government, Your Excellency, our retired President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta, Your Excellency, the former First Lady of Mamakun Kenyatta, Honorable Chief Justice, Speakers of the National Assembly and the Senate, all protocols observed, God is good. And all the time, the Salimiani Bohemo Bwana Asifiwe, Bwana Asifiwe Tena. Wow, wow, what a moment, what a day. Your Excellency, President William Ruto, my friend and brother, I want to take this opportunity to be the first one to congratulate you on being sworn in as the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya. Congratulations, my brother. You fought a hard fight. The obstacles that have been placed before you or your party leadership were insurmountable. But because there is a God in heaven, today, an ordinary child, born by ordinary parents, brought up in an ordinary village, brought up in an ordinary way, growing up in an ordinary manner, because there is God in heaven, he is the President of the Republic of Kenya and the one in chief. Take no credit for this victory. It was not possible for us to win this election. It was through the heart of God that today a not many child has been born. I want to thank the people of Kenya for their left years and for their determination, for rejecting to be intimidated for rejecting to be coerced and for saying that the will of the people is supreme in this republic. Your Excellency, President Willa Butcher, I must tell these people the truth. Despite the fact that you are hard worker, you are passion to serve, you are zealous, you are go-getter. The journey ahead of you is not rosy. And I want to ask the people of Kenya, the way you pray for President William Ruto to be elected as president, please continue praying for him and his team to be able to start the economic transformation of this great republic. have a difficult task ahead. The truth of the matter is that we have inherited a dilapidated economy that is facing almost a moment of shadow. We have a 10 million public debt. 6 million Kenyans have won back. 14 million Kenyans are in CRB. We have a demoralized public service. It is your prayers that will help our president to put up a team and start work from the one to liberate this country economically and put it back to where President White to work in the left hand side of the world.
over the world. And they became a fright in this country to be afraid of the future. It gave God a chance to So today, I want to tell the people of Kenya that you are finally free. I want to tell the public servants, I want to tell all the people of Kenya, from now, you don't have to talk with each other through the board south for fear of being recorded and persecuted by the people. Your Excellency, our President, you have told us, and we believe you, that you shall never, in your, president, in your presidency, use the criminal justice system to manage politics. You have told us that you will manage politics in a conventional way through position and reaching out. I want to give a word on behalf of our president that you are free to criticize this government without fear of reprisal from state You are excellent, Mr. President, as a winder. As a winder, I want to assure you of my resolve and commitment from the bottom of my heart to be available to assist you to manage the affairs of our great nation. I'll serve you with loyalty and dedication. And the job ahead of us is not a joke. I and the team behind me we shall be available and will try to keep up with your pace. I know I am getting into things that are almost impossible to fail. The performance of William Ruto in his first time when he was allowed to serve the people of Kenya was on another level. in the performance of William Ruto because you might get in here. I'll try. I may go up to 60 or 70 percent, but feeling the shoes of this man is no small feat. And as we go forward, I want to ask the people of Kenya to work hard. We don't have a choice. Once we try to fix this economy and create a good working environment where we don't criminalize enterprise, where ordinary Kenyans are allowed to work, where businessmen are not harmed by KIA. We have to start from scratch. We ask the people of Kenya to be patient and give us a chance to try to get things working. Finally, as a Christian, I take this opportunity to thank my wife Dorcas, Pastor Dorcas, for being a prayer warrior, for praying for me in this time, for standing by me. 
Award Staff High Tribune, Kevin Gashamwa, and Dr. Keith, that even when stimulated his skill for me with a brutal efficiency, you never had on me. I promise I will never take it to stand up.